and great. So now we, I put Loom on and Loom is the software that I use to uh, have this little area of me in the corner and then I can show you the screen of what we're going to be working on. So as I said before, the first part was visibility and the second part is how do we repurpose our social media. So here is a dashboard to my social media for my company, Social Global Grind, and we are a company that help um, inspire and help teach other small businesses on how to create social media consistently for those who really want to get seen, known, and heard a bit faster than maybe traditional marketing. Uh, and it works. <laughs> it just works. There's we've we've known so much um, in the past ten plus year years how we can actually use this to our benefit and create something that is noticeable for our businesses. It's especially important for me to do it here in New Zealand because we're just starting to break through on what can happen if you're using social media correctly. Um, and it's still quite new here. I would say it's about, oh, I keep saying every year, it's about four years behind. It's a slow burn. Um, but the cool thing was one of the benefits from going in lockdown was that we had a lot of new users a lot of people are going oh this isn't this isn't hard to do at all like i can just go on my phone and and follow people or discover TikTok or look at people on instagram or even shop from instagram so all of these new things have happened uh during COVID, and i suspect around the world because this we had enough downtime to do it right so that's great. So one of the things that we have to do with, that we do with on an ongoing basis with our clients is like, oh, well, we don't know what to talk about anymore. We talked about our product. We only have this one product and we've talked about it. We talked about all the features and benefits of everything. How, what do we do now? Well, one of the great ways to do it is just repurpose it. You already know what works. You already seen the data of what actually, you know, what what is your customer really, really like? Um, and that's kind of a cool thing. So we're going to kind of go a little bit behind the scenes on what people really like um, in in terms of our content and how do we repurpose it and the whole deal. So I'm just going to move my little bubble up here and I'm going to show you. Let's see, where's my content area? Okay, so in this area, and by the way, this this project management tool here is called Asana and it's free. So if you like what I'm doing here, you can actually sign up for an Asana account. It's quite easy to, to like, you're gonna see it with me. It's really easy to navigate and build one for yourself. Um, uh, we actually, on my website, uh, let's just, let's look at my website, shall we? <laughs> I have a new website and I've just, I'm in love with it so much. Um, I feel like I'm a grown up on my website. So here it is. So on the top, although it didn't load just yet, that is, you'll find our latest podcast. But if you scroll down in the middle of it, not that far, you will see learn to use social media systems that work and are shareable. If you click onto this, you will see like, oh, well, how do I set up an Asana board? And I'd like to know this a little bit more about social media and how we can use it. This is a free resource and we use it with every single client. So this is absolutely worth looking into and checking out. Um, so yeah, so go here and just click on through. There's also a couple of other things that you may wanna look into, but by far, we're very proud of producing this because we've helped businesses using this method all the time. Our, you know, we, but you, have to be a paid client. So we're very excited to do this as a free resource. And we have it right here on our website at socialglobalgrind.com. And if we just click back, you will see what we've done. Actually, let me just click out of here in particular. Um, we classify them by weeks. And so that we know which each week, what we're going to be talking about. And we create a tile just like that. And we, we, we put a title there and we just continue on. Sometimes we'll slide images into the area. Um, if we are creating images for social media. So that's like the really basic, easy stuff. Um, here in the published area, we we've created another little deck. Um, and let me just scroll behind. We actually have every single social media piece that we've, that we've not ever produced because we've recently, maybe like 
we took as ourselves as as an agency we were noticing we haven't put any up a lot of social media we're taking care of our clients but not ourselves so i would say about the last year or so we've started to build up our own content and do it consistently we have tracked it here and we and we actually um, classify them by each month and we can scroll through and see all oh, right so this these are the things that we've talked about these are the the topics and we can actually go in here and re purpose that. So here's one right here that says um, uh, theme, what wellness practitioners need to know about online marketing. That's a great one. Um, so what you can do is you can repurpose something like this. So you can do a couple of things. You can duplicate it. Um, and this might look a little too technical, but it's seriously not. Just by hitting the duplication button, it's actually going to populate on the bottom which you have. I just click something that says duplicate and it did it for me, which is pretty easy. And now I'm going to just open up this tile and you can see again, because I'm also doing this as a video. So if you're not sure how to follow along, you can you can do it here. Uh, but basically what I'm doing is I'm duplicating a, a, a post that we've done and I'm also going to uh, put that right back on our uh, content board. So let me just... Um, social media. Okay. So I'm, I'm just replicating it, duplicating it. And I'm also putting it as a task that we're going to be doing on the week of uh, uh, July 4th. So um, as I go back to that and go back into my social media, and if I go uh, scroll down to the, to that week, we're going to see that same project here. Now, what we do is we will um, do a couple of things. Um, let's see. Oh. I think I lost it. Hold on. I'm going to put this. I'm going to find it for us. Alrighty, so here it is. We found it. So this is a duplicate a duplication of that social media post, um, which is wellness practitioners need to know um, what they need to know about online marketing. Now, one of the first things I do is I might actually change the title. Um, you know, something like, are you a wellness practitioner? Let's do that. And we're gonna do, are you a wellness practitioner is something that I'm going to rename this whole series of social media. Now, the, the cool thing is, is that this is also has a blog. So it gets people back to your website, which is really important for SEO and getting people that um, are interested in something like this. So we're going to do that. One of the things that I like to do as well, it's like there's a there's some previous um, social media images that we're going to erase. <laughs> so that's one. And then here's the second image that we have. It's just two gorgeous women doing yoga. And as I open it again, I'm just going to go down here and I am going to delete those attachments. So my um, content creator can know that this is actually ready to repurpose. This is the social media content that we have. It talks about episode 54, what wellness practitioners need to know um, um, about social media. And uh, we already have a blog that's listed here. Um, I may actually purposely put this on our new Social Global Grind blog because when we move things over, we didn't get all of our blogs done. So this might be a, like a really cool thing. Um, so we're going to do that. So I will put in instructions there and then we'll create that. Now, what does the visibility part really, um, how does that come in? Right? So one of the things that we do, let me just open up my blog. Let me just put that right here. Now this is from our hustle and glow blog. And we're going to make sure that it also goes into social global grind. So we're going to see those images out there. You know, the previous content is here. So what I would do to repurpose this is I would actually do another podcast and talk a little bit about all of this. And it could be a best of if you didn't really want to do that at all. You could just, you know, re um, uh, 
redo it, which I think might be a good idea. I might do a best of, and then this is, this is my next week. My assignment for this week was to come up with two other podcasts. So this is one. <laughs> And then next week, we're going to talk about this one. So you can see it in action. And I get out of that extra work because I am busy. So this is perfect to do for next week. So we're going to do that. We're going to talk a little bit about see, the even these images are ways on how to use hashtags. If you're in, 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 in wellness and you want to get more, uh, you know, get seen a bit more. These are sort of the hashtags, the research that we've seen and how to do it. And um, you can see it all here. Um, it's really exciting. I think this is worth republishing for sure because it gives you so much information. And it's really quick. I like it when there's information that you need to learn. Like, oh, Instagram's latest changes or the TikTok, the, what is it? how do they say the TikToksification? of Instagram, you know what I mean? Because Instagram is doing everything that TikTok is doing. Um, those sometimes can be so lengthy when I'm reading it. I'm like, oh, ADHD, adult ADHD is real. Like I can't, I can't read all of it. Um, so we try to do, um, we, we do meaningful longer ones, but I like it when it's smaller because you just boom, 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 and you get it. And that's all you need. It's just so super simple getting it to, to redo. Um, you can even, let me just jump back on to our social media part. You can even just use the same exact content that you talked about. I mean, if you want to, you can, you can switch it up a bit and you can edit it here. Um, but the thing is the look is always, especially when we're talking about Instagram, if you change the look of something, you're there. So, um, we um, should be doing something like this. The other thing too, that I think that's really interesting, um, side note, sidebar, let me show you my Instagram account. Actually, we'll show you, not mine, but social, but the um, social global grind in particular. Yeah. So what we've been doing is that we are, I used to look at, okay, well, we'll do images of, of women because we really, really want to do um, more images of women. And then I was seeing for a while, I'm trying to look, there, there's, there's, there are varied ages. But something that I've also noticed that's really hard is that if you're over 35, your an image for a, a 35 plus year old woman is really, really hard. It's either we're all in our 20s or we're, you know, what's the, what's the, um, the TikTok aesthetic, um, uh, coastal grandmother. Yeah. You're in the coastal grandmother range. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, that's real. Um, so I've been trying to look for images of women in 35 and plus, uh, like let's start the journey there. I think we have this gorgeous woman here as, as that, but you know, getting that look and feel for your Instagram account is really important. Um, but we also know what vastly is important. You in front of the camera talking about um, your latest episode on a podcast, which I'm going to do after this. I'm going to do a TikTok, I promise, uh, just because I need to do this every day, right? It becomes a habit. This is like me going to the gym, folks. It's like really hard to consistently go. So I, I feel the same pressure honestly. And I even made it today where um, I'm front of camera, but I didn't do anything crazy camera ready for my face. Like I have no makeup on. Uh, I do have lip gloss on. Um, but that's it. Um, I think maybe day old mascara. Honestly, I, I washed my face, but I didn't do anything after I washed my face this morning when I woke up. So, and you still sometimes will have that residue, even though you cleaned your eye, you might have a residue of mascara. That is how I'm going to appear on this. Um, but anyway, that is it for this episode. Uh, before I run off your ears with some really um, not so uh, interesting conversation about makeup. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. I'm If you're afraid of being in front of the the camera, like I am, maybe afraid is not the right word. It's just, um, uh, it, it's intense and has that anxiety field stuff and it's gotta be perfect and this and that. And, oh gosh, you know, what are my colleagues gonna say? What are people in the industry gonna say about it? Like, let's just stop all of that because the truth is we need to show up for ourselves and our business more so than all of the nonsense that is all of that. Like, let's just all collectively crumble it away, throw it away and show up together. 
So that is it. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you on the next podcast and go to my social media. If you scroll down in the description area of the notes of this podcast, you can reach me on my any of my social media um, networks and just let me know what you think. I would love to have a conversation with you and find out what you thought about this episode. Until then, I will see you on the next podcast.